is doing all your best. I congratulate you. I am very much satisfied. I'm sure I can speak for every one of us. And we are very much satisfied with the progress that you have made. Some people feel that the progress is slow, but I don't think it is slow. It is a very good progress because everything is looked into and it's been straightened out. So once again, I wish to congratulate you, wish you God's success and blessings. And any time we can be of any assistance to you, Your Excellency, and the government of Guyana, we will be able to prepare to help you and to work along with you. Chairman, Thank you very much. Board here. Next, I'd like to welcome, we have in our midst, one of the hardest working minister of this um, government. And uh, this minister has been put in charge of a serious ministry, a ministry that has a humongous task ahead of uh, her. And I know she has started out very well and the progress made so far in creating um, togetherness in our country has been on the ladder, climbing as ever. And I know one day she's going to reap the rich reward she's hoping to achieve. I'd like to welcome to the microphone to say a few words at this special function, our Honorable Minister of Social Cohesion. Excellency Honorable. President David Granger, executive members, congregation, and most of all, the boys and girls of the Southern Islamic Anjuman Orphanage. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'd like to extend Greetings to all of you on this 11th Eid Fest held at this location. I do not know that this location is uh, any stranger to me and to most of you. And I want to join in the call uh, with Brother Hassan that we should give uh, ultimate support to this orphanage and the Anjuman. Last week, I was at Anna Catarina at the IFES and a simple message I left with the participants at that IFES and that was for us, the call for all of us to work together, to work towards national unity. For without a national unity and without togetherness, we will not be able to build Guyana. That, my friends, is very, very necessary for us to take Guyana to a different level. And so, once again, let me say EFES greetings to all of you, and I trust that we can all serve Guyana. Okay, and we are the Minister of Social Cohesion. And again, we continue to wish her well in our task ahead of us. Again, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you. Please forgive me if I don't do it from time to time. Um, I'd like to say now members of the various religious groups we have here uh, present. We have also members of the interreligious organization, Pastor McGarrell and his family. I like to call them a family, not a team and also the children of the orphanages and also we're very privileged this afternoon to have with us not only his excellency but his brother with us uh frederick Rachel with us here again i welcome him too to this function and all those who travel very far to be here with us uh, next i'd like to invite to the microphone the future of this uh, orphanage his family has been in charge of this orphanage for numerous years they've been doing a fantastic job and it's good to see him here at many of the functions. It's good to see him back home, actually, and to see him and his father uh, be an actual inspirational part of this uh, orphanage um, during the month of Ramadan. Let's welcome to the microphone, and he's also going to be doing me the biggest favor this afternoon. When he's finished with his speech, he's going to introduce his aunt, who's going to come up, Dolly Rahman, to say a few words to us. So let's welcome uh, Brother Khalifa Rahman to say a few words. Salam, Kalam, Mayor of the Rahim. Salam, Kalam, Mayor of the Rahim. Salam, Kalam, Mayor of the Rahim. The Rufayet is Surah 36, verse 58. 
Surah Yasin. Allah tells us in this beautiful surah, in this beautiful verse, Salam, a word of peace from your Lord. Please note, it didn't say, O oh Muslims, peace, a word of salutation from your Lord. It's a universally accepted greeting. So on this note, His Excellency President David Granger, ministers of the government, Muslim community, our respected, our beloved, our loved orphans, I welcome you all to the Guyana United Sadar Islamic Anjuman. Furthermore, I welcome you on this joyous occasion, although it is a week late, of Eid. I welcome you and thank you for spending this such a precious time with us all. A few remarks, a few things. As Muslims, we have just come out of the month of Ramadan, and we were reminded of a few fundamental lessons. One, love and belief. Throughout the course of the day, from sunrise to sunset, we deprive ourselves from food. We deprive ourselves from our fundamental sustenance, our principal, our principal energy for the day. And many people question why, if not how. I mean, food is delicious. So, when you think about why would God create such a system to put everyone through this ordeal? And it's simple. It doesn't matter how rich I am or how poor I am. It doesn't matter the color of my skin, my race. It simply doesn't matter. To truly understand hunger, one must be hungry. So, through this beautiful month, our, as Muslims, we are reminded that love and belief are principle. The second reminder during this month that is clear is zikr Allah. You must remember Allah. For in this month, the Holy Quran was sent down. And Allah says, when the Holy Quran was sent down, if it was to come down and fall on the highest mountain top, the mountain would crumble. And then we ask ourselves, how was the Holy Quran, how was our spiritual guide come down to this earth? It was revealed through the love and the heart of a beloved prophet. All blessings of this month. Simultaneously, this month taught us love, belief, and remembrance of Allah. And those fundamental guides are the principal structural foundation of the Guyana United Sadar Islamic Anjuman. The, 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 the very respected lady who I have the privilege of calling Auntie Dali, Ms. Rahman, it is her sole job to propagate and carry that message forward. It is her sole objective to care for the needs of the orphans, to serve the needs of the Muslim community. And we so respect and value the relationship that has been established and has been continued, and we've seen continued establishment today that we have with the present government. Without any further ado, I would like to invite my aunt, Auntie Dali, to this podium to give her response. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all my sisters and brothers, His Excellency, the Minister of the Government, and everyone here. On behalf of the Board of Management of the Orphanages, as well as the executives of the Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman, I wish first of all belatedly extend to you and your families your organization, members and families, and Jamaat members and families, Eid Mubarak. The Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman was founded on June 10, 1937. Then a Salar e Anjuman by His Eminence, the late Maulana Said Shamshuddin of India, making it the oldest existing Islamic organization in Guyana. It was founded based on the Sunni school of thought, Hanafi Mazhab, and has throughout its existence promoted, taught, and maintained Sunni Islam. While other organizations have moved from Sunni as the flow of economics demanded, the Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman has never deviated from the Sunni path. From its inception, 
the AM United Salar Islamic Anjum has been championing the cause of the Muslims of Guyana and maintaining its belief in the core values established since 1937. In 1961, the Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjum was formally incorporated by an act of parliament as a representative Muslim organization and remains the only such organization in this country presently to be incorporated by parliamentary legislation. The Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjum has the mandate to represent the Muslims of this country and the only organization having that mandate. The Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman remains a legend in the Muslim community. The Shaheed Boys and Girls Orphanages were established in the 1950s as institutions to provide care, home, and facilities for the orphans, vulnerable and destitute children of our community. They have remained the only legitimate institutions in the Muslim community for the provision of care, mainly the Muslim community, while organizations claim to provide these services through orphan sponsorship. We challenge them to show the legitimacy and existence of these sponsored children, as we have established that many of these sponsored children are non-existent. The Shahi orphanages are landmark institutions, not only to our Muslim community, but to the Gaya, but to the Guyanese nation. The Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman, like many or, many organizations existing over such long years, has gone through periods of ups and downs and dormancy, which in the context of today's society is a force dormancy from those who prefer not to see the vibrancy of this organization or are threatened by the prospect of what the Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman as a vibrant organization will mean to the existence of these persons of organizations as such when this forced dormancy has not been enough to quell this fear the forced takeover of the Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman through every available means including the utilization of the courts of Guyana was also tried. However, every effort to secure the forced takeover of the Guyana United Salar Islamic Anjuman has been unsuccessful. The Shaheed orphanages remain as the beacon for the care of the orphan and vulnerable children in our society and in their decades of existence provided care and facilities for thousands of children. These institutions have provided wonderful support to successive governments over the decades as valuable social sector contributor of our country. The management committee has in these years placed and continues to place tremendous amount of importance to financial accountability of these institutions. As from the inception of us taking control, we hired a management firm to manage the financial portfolio of these institutions. We remain the only such institution to have done this. We have created the Memorial Park a bank account for every orphan within the Shaheed orphanages, which said monies are given to the children after they leave here. This is in addition to the $50,000 provided by the board to every child living here. The provision of facilities which are of the highest standard is a major goal of the management committee. And since our assumption of control, each year, millions of dollars are spent to repair, build, and acquire facilities for the children. In this past year, we have spent millions to refurbish facilities and to build new ones at orphanages. We have recognized the importance of counseling for these children and have employed our own trained counselors at these institutions. 
to assist these children in being reintegrated with the society. We remain the only such institution to have done that. We continue to work closely with the Ministry of Social Protection in our operation of these institutions and regularly meet with the officials to ensure that we keep the Shahid orphanages. In in, in tune or in line with what is required by the ministry and to seek advice on our operation of these institutions. In, um, from, sorry. Uh, and based on recommendation from the ministry, the orphanages have installed security surveillance systems, security cameras that allow us to better monitor these institutions. We remain the first of such institutions to do so. The board is in the process of creating a playground for these children at our Oleander Gardens location. Towards this, we have spent over three million in, pre in preparatory works, but we are unable to move further due to our lack of financial resources. However, we have been promised help from the Chinese Association, which we hope will see the completion of this playground. It, is, it will be fully equipped with day and night capability, floodlights, equipment for maintaining the playground, as well as swings, slides, etc. We are positive that this can be a reality before the end of 2015, inshallah. The orphanages during this year has fulfilled its dream of acquiring a bus for these children. We thank the former minister, Anil Nandalal, for his assistance in the orphanages obtaining a duty-free concession from the government of Guyana to acquire this vehicle. The best that we can do for our children is to give them the best opportunity for education. In recognition, in recognition of this, the Shahid Orphanages has placed our children into private school to give them a new opportunity at acquiring a good education. While this is being done at a tremendous cost to the management, we are certain it will be worth it. This was the biggest achievement of the management during the year. We want to thank everyone for their continued support to the Guyana United Salary Islamic Anjuman and the Shahi Orphanages. We promise to continue working with you for the improvement of the level of facilities and services we provide at the Shahi Orphanages. Even in our periods of dormancy, our core values and aims and objectives of the Guyana United Salar Islamic Adjunct are still in place. Please feel free to let us have your suggestions. Please feel free to question us about our operations. Please feel free at any time to request our audited financial statements. The Shadi orphanages are not the properties of any board or organization. It is the property of the people of the Please remember the children of these orphanages which are contributions in this beautiful month of giving. For those in Guyana, their contributions must be made only at the orphanages. And for those overseas wishing to contribute, we attach our bank information for you to make your contribution directly into our account, which is the Demerara Bank and the account number you can get in the front office. Should you require any further information, please do not hesitate to contact us. I thank you all for listening. Sister Dolly Rahman, for that wonderful speech in bringing forward so many valuable and important points that you should know in the operation of the running of the orphanages. And after such a wonderful speech, I think it's only fitting that we ask the band, the Indus Voices, and also give His Excellency a chance to hear the talent of this band. We're going to ask Amar, Tarun, and Suraj to entertain us with two wonderful renditions that we have come back.